going on, Gemini's? Welcome to your weekly love reading. Welcome to Embracing Mattress. Thank you to everyone that's like, shared, subscribed. If you've hit the notification bell, purchased the reading or donated to my page, thank you so much. This energy could be masculine or feminine. Okay? Could be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. You want to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And cross watchers, if you do not have Gemini in your chart or anyone with Gemini in theirs, and you were guided here, just know the spirit has a message for you. So just hang out. Okay. Take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, you guys have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You guys could be in hermit mode right now. You guys could be indoors. You guys cannot be leaving the house much unless you have errands. You guys could be um, just healing from, from a past that uh, was not too good. You know? And you may be separated from that person that gave you the hard time. This is time apart from your person is on the horizon. This could be someone that you're not with right now. For some of you, um, you're, you are trying to revive a situation with a husband or a wife. You want to revive a situation with a relationship for others if you're not married. And you may be trying to figure out how you can get to this person. You guys can steal some time away so that you can come together and try to work some things out. Right? Because some of you are tired of being in separation with someone else. Okay? So, you guys... Insert where you need to insert. Okay. One more time. Spirit said one more time. Okay. You're moving on. Retreat. You're moving on from a situation. Okay. You're gaining perspective on it. You're looking at things in a different perspective. You understand a little bit more about yourself. You understand a little bit more about this person. Okay? You're able to see the shortcomings of the person. You're able to see the things that they did wrong in the relationship that you were in. You're also able to see the things that you did wrong. And this could be why, you know, as you're moving forward, it's, it's bittersweet. But you know that it's the best thing for you to do. Now you guys are on a new journey. Some of you may have uh, relocated or uh, got a new place, or maybe you're going to be. Some of you may be looking for a place of your own as well. And you're trying to get all of this together. This is the perception of your life. You're thinking about, how do I want my life to go from here? Up until this point, my life has went like this. This is what I want to change. This is what I want to do now. Gemini. Right? You were seeing the red flags from someone. Caution, warning, danger. Someone was not presenting their, their true self. They were showing you a mask. They may have been showing other people other aspects of them that you were not getting. They may have been cheating on you behind your back. Okay? The spirit of the stranger. Okay? When I see this card, I feel intuitively that this person may have been a stranger to you when they were out with other people. Right? When they're with you, it's all about you. But when they go somewhere else, it's all about them. And you're a stranger to them. Right? Right? This person, you know, they could have felt that you was weak. They could have felt that you were a follower. They felt like you were dumb. They felt that you um, just wasn't grasping onto what was going on around you. They could have felt that maybe if this person was being on the up and up with you, that you were just not listening. What is she stupid? Or what is he stupid? Why are they not listening? Okay. But also with this, okay, this person could have been being controlled by another person uh, other than you. Somehow. Now, a lot of times I see this as a magic card. Could be some sort of magic going on, some sort of spell work. But I do feel that this person, okay, um, could have been being 
controlled by the other person. And that could have made them separate from you somehow. Yeah, let's see if I can get anything else. Gemini. Anything else? Right? One more card for Gemini. Thank you. All right. Oh, give me two. All right. Wealth status windfall. All right. This person could have been connected to someone else because they thought that they were wealthy in some way. They felt that they had something to give them. They felt like, you know, being with that other person was the best bet. Okay? Some of you as well, um, after going through the situation, you may get some sort of windfall, some sort of good status, some sort of wealth, some sort of money that you didn't know was aff being afforded to you. And someone here, spirit of the past, um, very nostalgic, aching for an old flame, aching for someone that they love. I do believe it's this person that we're speaking about that you're um, away from. But you guys are going through the spirit of the key, solution, wisdom, spiritual knowledge. You guys are gaining spiritual knowledge. You guys are awakening. You guys are understanding your intuition. You're digging deeper for more information. You may be watching other tarot card readers, right? Maybe trying to just gather stuff. You may be Googling things. You may be trying to understand with this perception. You may be understanding things on a different level right now. Understanding things that you probably would have never understood had this person not come into your life and treated you like they treated you. This person could have catapulted a spiritual awakening for you. Okay. Take that how it resonates. Gemini. All right. You may have doubt. You may have a lot of doubts about yourself. You may be doubting this relationship. You may be doubting everything about your life. How are you going to be? What's, what is going to be going forward? You know, you may be making excuses too. You may not be, you know, you may not be outgoing. You may not be dating right now. You may be making excuses for that as well because inside your mind, you're still healing from a situation. You're still yearning someone from your past and you're still in that frame. Right? You're still feeling scorned by this person. You're feeling like you're a little upset with them based on that way that they treated you. You may love this person, but when you're around them, you may go from hot to cold because you think about how you was treated. Okay? This person may think that you're unstable because of it. Because you go from hot to cold. But I, I, I'm I, sorry, but I, I can't even say that I can fault you. Because if you if someone mistreats you and someone does you dirty, you know... Your, your nostalgia for this person, your, your love, your care will cause you to want to love them. But then when your mind starts working, when your mind starts working and those red flags pop up and you're hearing these, these um, intuitive messages and you're saying, you know what, this person didn't have to do that. Or I just heard something that they said that, you know, didn't, didn't rub me right. You know, you're paying attention. You know, when someone speaks to you after they've hurt you, it's a little bit different, right? You pay attention to every little thing that they do, every little thing that they say in a different type of way, right? This person that you're thinking of may have just been scorned by someone they're with and they may be unstable as well. And that's for some of you. And they may be going through a bit of disillusionment because of the simple fact that they thought things were a certain way. And just like what they did to you, that shit wasn't what they thought it was. And that's their karma, right? That's absolutely their karma. Because, yeah, what goes around comes around. You, you get the same thing that you put out as for the universe. That shit is going to come back either way. You may not ever see something coming back to someone that's done you dirty, but guess what? They're going to get that shit. You don't need to see it. Just trust the universe. Gemini. Okay. 
okay? You guys are working on your life. You guys are trying to build yourself back up. You guys are trying to figure out what you want to do right now. You guys could maybe thinking of uh, getting a new job, maybe thinking of going back to school, learning a new trade. You guys could be trying to get your money right, trying to figure out how to get some money, right? You guys could be trying to figure out what your life looks like now without this person in it. You could be trying to figure out how it's going to look, but guess what? You're working on yourself right now, and this is beautiful. You know, you're burning, burning the midnight oil. You guys may not be sleeping well because you have so much on your mind, you know, of how you're going to change your life, how you're going to do some other things. Someone can have a Virgo around them or have Virgo in their chart as well. Right? You guys could be learning new skills, could be training, going through a training course. Right? You guys could be changing professions, could be looking into different types of jobs that you can do if you do not have a job right now. Yeah. You also have the four swords, and this is you resting and recovering. This is you trying to heal, okay, from the separation, from these things that happened to you with this old flame. This is you trying to get your bearings back. This is you being in the house retreating from the world being quiet staying to yourself doing only what you need to do to keep yourself afloat this is you going out doing errands this is you maybe speaking to a couple friends here and there but this is basically you protecting yourself somebody can have libra in their chart this is you just being down and forcing yourself to relax okay this is, this is after you guys had an emotional breakdown from whatever this fuckery was. This could be stress that you're still dealing with, trying to heal from this. You guys could just be in, you know, in a hermit mode, just in your own skin, trying to figure it all out, trying to figure out what you want to do now. This is the emotional recuperation that you need right a voluntary withdrawal from other people and other things a retreat and that's fine but this is what you need to do to heal yourself and you don't owe anybody no explanation but i do see you guys moving forward and that's a beautiful thing gemini High Priestess of Water, you have a number four card. Let's see what that message is. All things change like the powerful element of water, okay? Water is a transforming element that flows in rivers, makes waves in the vast ocean, turns to hard cold ice, and disperses as hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white fluffy clouds and rain. When you draw the symbol of water, it signifies a time when things in your life are changing shape right before your very eyes. Go with the flow as these changes are powerful signs of wondrous experiences, lessons, and gifts. Even if you don't understand these changes at the moment, you will later, okay? So the divine is setting you guys up for something that's going to come to you. So just be patient. Have faith, okay? And keep moving forward. You guys are doing well. Send in love and light. Okay, if anyone needs a personal reading, the information's in the box below. Love you guys. Bye.